What is going on, everyone? Today we are going to be in the fifth episode of this Ghost of Tsushima playthrough. We're going to kick it off with unfinished business and go back and help all the people that are being held captive in the Mongol territory. After that, we're going to work over to Hammer and Forge. And then, I don't know if in this episode we'll get to Blood in the Grass, but I that will be the next sequence we follow after finishing Hammer and Forge. Uh, in short, if you aren't tuned into the last episode, we just recently rescued Taka, Yuna's brother, from Azimo Bay. And that's the reason why we are not going back to help the rest of the prisoners that are being held there. After we work on that, we're going to go back and we're going to start working on Taka. And like I've kind of hinted it a little bit, he is going to give us a tool that makes the game a little bit more fun with exploration. And will open up some of the shrines. If you've worked your way through the map, you've noticed there are some shrines that you kind of are stuck at. You might not be able to get through. There's a reason for that. And as we work with him, we'll kind of make that more clear as what we're going to have at our disposal. Big goal today is uh, to not embarrass myself. This is my second playthrough, but it's been a couple years since I've played this game. A little rusty, had a couple moments. So ideally, I'd like to put out a little bit better of gameplay content for you guys and make it worth watching. gonna help if I go the right way here. Mm, we'll just run through this real quick and check it out and see if there's anything in. Not gonna spend any more time, it doesn't look worth it. Get back on the road again. Get a nice subtle fog breeze. And then the big fires of Asimov. Beautiful. There are too many gods. You won't stand a chance. We have to do something. My lord, we're going into Azimo Bay. Help us fight. You'll endanger everyone inside if you start a fight. The Mongols are starving and beating our elders, punishing them for a prisoner who escaped. Your elders have nothing to do with that. Where are they being held? One's near the shrine. We think the other two are in the houses. How are you planning to get in? The gates are sealed shut. There's an opening in the fence by the main gate. We used it as children to sneak out. I'll use it to sneak in. Stay out of sight until I've opened all the gates. Thank you, my lord. Looks like we don't have any initial guards, so we'll just work our way through here. And I think the plan is initially we'll go stealthy here. And then since that I see we need to free villagers, uh, there is a mechanic in this game where if you are, like I mentioned before, intended to stay stealthy, it will punish you otherwise if you try to go the other route. So if you are, or do, should I say, alert any of the guards of the Mongols, they will immediately try to go and execute hostages. So we'll stay initially calm here and then just kind of pick up the pace of how we geez, how we move through this base. We'll go ahead and we'll go a little bit more aggressive, introduce that mechanic, show you what kind of to do. Most of the time these guys are gonna bull rush the uh, hostage that's nearby. 
Alright, that was really bad. Okay, so quiet already got one. So there is three leaders. So while we're working through these, we might be able to get some like, sections of the map, so we might be able to go back to stuff. Definitely spoke too soon. Well, that's a start, I guess. I already kind of failed on my promise here of trying to be better. <laughs> There's nothing in this room here. Guess we'll work our way up. Huh. Not mean to do that. Right trigger constantly gets me with this game. Alright, so there's some records here. If you're looking for any of those, they're in Asimov Bay. And I keep doing this to myself. Alright, so like I was hoping before, it looks like for the most part we're back to being relatively stealthy. So we'll try to be a little bit quieter here as much as we can. Hey guys. So here we go, here's the mechanic I was talking about. <laughs> Looks like we're not having them go for any hostages right now though. Should be like a marker that identifies them so they're easy to spot. I believe it's like a flashing skull or something. Okay, looks like we got a village elder over there. They're kind of high ground, so I don't really want to work on them yet. Show how to make Japanese steel or lose head to Mongol sword. We're gonna just work our way around here real quick. Don't see anybody. Uh, it must be downstairs then. Take the goodies first. We didn't do 
anything to muffle these guys one bit. And I just took out five within, what, a couple hundred square feet of each other? Hey, My Lord, whatever works. Please, get me out of here. Hold still. You're safe now. I was sure they were going to kill me. They already killed one blacksmith. No, he escaped. You will too. But stay here until it's safe. Maybe they should have had an upgrade for stealth and quietness, similar to the other games like Assassin's Creed where you upgrade the overall effectiveness and quietness of the assassination itself. Because the fact that I was able to just take out those guys like that is kind of impressive and not impressive in the same way. If that makes any sense. We got another gate to open over here. Looks like we got a couple captives too. Alright, we'll take this guy out first. Yeah, for the win. There, a couple captives here, and a leader. It looks like. Thank you, my lord. They were working us to death. You're free now. I accept Mongol rule. He can resist and be punished. Can't really go around the other way. Pretty sure I've already done that in a previous video. Just gotta try again. Sure, how I should observe this guy, to be honest with you. Magnificent that with Horkwe, head then Udul Yavla. You catch fish, we treat you well. Zagas Berry, beach on San Handi. I guess I was wall glitching and he saw me through it. Working. I kick. You stop walking. I kick. You walk. Or I kick again. True some thoughts. The Kunsum Tabla. With the Zodarst one. No. Yagartsun. You didn't see anything. Alright, you know what? Let's just do this. Shrek isn't strong enough yet. Okay, so as you can see, there is there is a mechanic here that I was talking about that they have in this game. Got a flash of skull and bones. I think you get a little bit of grace period here as I scramble to find where to go. As you can see, you get a lot of grace time. Okay. Probably a box. 
myself in here now because there's a really large horde of people. Wow, okay. What's up, guys? Oh. oh, yeah, we got crap. So I guess when I focus and shut up, I play a little bit better. You're going to be all right. Are you the headman? I am. The Mongols threatened to kill my people unless I accepted their rule. I was about to give in. You were strong to resist. Remain hidden until it's safe to come out. The Mongols are holding Konami, our healer, near the shrine. She'll never submit. I fear they'll kill her. So it sounds like the shrine that he's referring to is the one up on the higher hill there. So we'll keep working our way around and we'll go save her next. Let's open this gate first. Looks like we must have displaced a lot of them when had that initial little snafu there. Because I'm not seeing anybody. Now we got a record up here. Not a door. Okay, so we found some people here. There we go. Don't forget to pick the flowers. Never had a chance. Are you 
hurt. I'm fine. They wanted me to heal their sick. And you refused. Stay here until I've dealt with the rest. No one is truly free until their new warlord is dead. He's taken over the headman's house. So it looks like we're gonna fight a warlord out of this place, but before we do that, I need to find this last cage. I don't think it'd be that way because we've already cleared all that. It's probably gonna be like dead center somewhere in this walk path, probably, but we'll check around anyway. It's definitely not that. We're getting some nice resources. So this is the initial encampment. It's gotta be like more central, I would imagine. There we go. It's not safe here. Run. I thought it would just challenge him, but I guess not. Sorry, <laughs> okay, so we do. Samurai. You tortured and abused my people. Accept Mongol rule, and your people will not suffer. You are a liar and a coward. You deserve nothing less than death. I will take nothing less than your head. Setting the scene. So the way I like to play this usually with these guys is I like to take the first carry opportunity swings, and then I also will try to guard break to slowly break down that white bar on the top there. So, all right, we got two more observations or leaders to take out, and we'll have the wind stance, which I believe is for the brutes. All right, let's raise these banners.
We'll go ahead and equip these real fast. I believe we have two spot. Yep. All right. And as you can see, you can unlock more and more as you, I believe it's the Fox Shrines. Asthma Bay can begin to heal and rebuild. And now we can focus on our next task at hand. So we'll go ahead and we'll go work on unfinished business. Or not unfinished business, sorry. Uh, the mission with Taka. Alright, we got a nice little bamboo strike. usually messes me up on these. Yeah. Oh, strike two. Whew. It was almost more embarrassing than it already was. All right, one more to increase the resolve. Now that we've done a little side content, go ahead and we'll make our way up there. So you got more side content down here. We're not going to dive into that. We're going to make our way up and we're going to start hammering forge. Careful, my lord. Save ourselves some path time. Is dangerous. The path is dangerous. You are correct. So we obviously fast traveled here. Also considering potentially not commentating and traveling and cutting these clips to make it easier for you guys. There can be a lot of like dead space time traveling to and fro. So for the people who have been enjoying or watching this, if you'd let me have your opinion down below, I'd appreciate it. Keep in travel from spot to spot, or should we cut it? Imagine being a group of bandits and coming across something like this. I don't know if they get a single hit on me. Thing of nightmares. Respect than this. And that's something I didn't know you could do. For those who didn't notice, uh, when we bowed there, he paid respect to the dead. So I'm going to make sure to take time to do that. In the meantime, enjoy the scene. This game doesn't take the cake, obviously, with realism. That's left to games like Red Dead. But the colors in this game and the way they make everything pop. From the trees, to the leaves, to the grass, the dirt, the rain, the wind. I mean, I could just ramble on and on. Looks like we're going to the same place. Susano, protect me. Uh, I believe this is the tail. 
Okay, yeah, the, so these are the mythic tails. These are usually going to do things like you see here with the heavenly strike. This is an ability you can unlock. This might be something I do on the side. You'll find a couple of them across the map, and a lot of times they're going to be related to like abilities and different things that you can unlock a, in, that's, in that realm. Yeah, that this should be there. I'm not gonna kill all these dogs. So Certain. I'm gonna I'm roll through towards here. the outskirts. Man. Guess time we look for Yuna and Taka. We get any? I still got one coming after me. Fighting ahead. an artifact or something nearby. We're going to just keep rolling now. What's up, guys? Sidestep he had there, huh? Yuna, is that you? Jin. You made it. What happened here? Where's Taka? Hiding with what's left of Komatsu. Mongols came a few days ago. They took prisoners, killed anyone who put up a fight. Now they're coming back to finish the job. These were just scouts. The main force won't be far behind. Then we have to go. Now. We can hold this town. What? We need Komatsu's forge. And its people. If you need to, you can leave. No. I'm tired of running. Take me to the others. Survivors are left. A few families. Mostly farmers and blacksmiths. Not worth much in a fight. You killed all these men by yourself? Good work. I've had some practice. Can you get more arrows? Used ones. Stuck in buildings. And bodies. They'll have to do. I was out here leading villagers to safety. One of them got trapped over here by the Mongols. Is it safe? The Mongols are gone for now. We're going to the forge. To be safer with us. Is the forge working? Yes, but we can't light it. The smoke will give us away. Show the Mongols where to find us. We can use it to lure them in. Force a fight at a location we control. They won't be expecting you here. No one gives Yuna enough credit. She's easily number two in this game. Lord Zakai! Yuna! Taka. I prayed the gods would protect you. I appreciate it. But I came for your help. Yuna said you needed something. A new tool. To save Lord Shimura. He's held prisoner in Castle Canada, and I need to break him out. Quietly. With no one seeing. This town has a forge, and you're a blacksmith. The best. I might be able to make something, but there is no time. The Mongols! I won't let them take Kumatsu. We're staying. I need my assistant, Yukio. 
but we got separated. Where is he? I think he was looking for his wife in town. I'll find Yukio. Yuna, be ready to fight. She always is. Yeah, Taka knows what's up. But I like how Jin is giving extremely vaguely bland description. And I guess Taka's just gonna handcraft this masterful tool for us that does exactly what we needed to do. Yeah, we're just gonna bypass and then just play defense here. Oh. oh, you're quick, man. Yeah, that's it, huh? Alright. That was a whiff. So now it doesn't even look bad. Just had, you know, Kunai just throw next to your face. So he chased me the first time, but not the second. Got it. You don't know. Good thing they can fight, because man, are they dumb. Guess that's not going to work. Yes, Taka needs help with the forge. Follow me. Oh, wait, my wife and her sister are by the river. Lead me to them quickly. This way. Stay close and follow my orders. You listen to me or you die. Who is that man? Who will ask him. Hide. Don't look at it. Look at me. Yes, my lord. The Mongols found them. Stay here. Then dig him with the That's pretty brutal. Oh, Started off so well. Thank you. Yukio sent me. He's alive. Follow me. Taka needs your husband. Mutsu. My love. Yukio. I thought I lost you. Are you hurt? That man fought like an animal or a demon. Only when I'm facing Mongols. We're going to the forge. Stay close. Gotta imagine we're gonna get attacked here by a swarm of Mongol. Yep. Oh, my God. 
Still has to hurt. And honestly, that that execute mechanic is kind of over the top there. The fact that these guys are just going out of the way to find a defenseless person. It's a little messed up. Let my intrusive thoughts win there again. But we should be good. Don't see how bringing people and then having a massive horde of Oh, this comes a good idea, but we got it. Yukio! He saved us, Taka! Thank you, my lord. The Mongols are here. Where's Yuna? She went to get a family from the house across the river. Hasn't come back. Damn. Don't light the fortune until we come back. I'm sure Yuna's gonna be doing just fine. But we'll go find her anyway. That sunset looks real nice. Over here. We're ready to light the forge. Taka said you're looking for a family. I was too late. The Mongols captured them just across the river. Those people took my brother in when he was an apprentice. Then we won't leave him behind. Let's go. Where is Samurai? I hurt your friends. We don't know any Samurai. I thought I was going to be going loud there, but... The rest of your people. Dude, eat that one right to the face. Please, let us go. Oh, you didn't see anything. Ooh. Can we pull off this jump? I think we can. Come on. Yeah, there we go. And look at that. Oh, not a chance. You guys are done for. And there's one more, right? There he is. Hey, what's up, man? It's always nice to have to engage in a single fight. You... you saved us. This fight's not over. Can you make it to the forge? Yes. I think so. Everyone stay close to me. Where did he come from? It's a long story. The way he killed them. He's not human. Maybe you're right. I mean, I can hear you guys. Let me think what after this. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They were not messing around when they tried to like make these Mongols as scary as possible. He was just sitting there laughing menacingly in her face. Yeah, I think you're going the wrong way. Hmm. 
see you guys. Yuna! Thank the gods. Light the forge, Tucker. What about the Mongols? They won't risk destroying this place. That gives us a chance to kill them all. If they don't kill us first. Either way, this is where we make our stand. struggle with this guy's swing. Oh. Talk about it. I still with it. Quit chasing me! Oh. I don't know how to do it. Ancestors. Didn't I tell you guys I'm allergic to dogs? We have to stop them. Easy way down. Break it off. Show mercy. What? We're looking. That was poetry in motion right there, guys. The sunset in the backdrop. Thank <laughs> you. 
Slice that woman's head off. Thanks. I know. Just trying to help you, okay? really help if you would shoot her arrows at the guys that are shooting arrows at me. Nothing. You are more than a samurai. He is a vengeful spirit, back from the grave to slaughter the Mongols. Where do we hide now? You don't. Fire up your forge, and get back to making strong Komatsu weapons. That's how we fight back. That's how we'll save Lord Shimura. Vengeful spirit? I think they liked it. that samurai follow a path of honor. It is none of the many differences between us. Hmm. Then why have my men found their brothers stabbed in the back? Lord Sakai would never resort to such tactics. War brings out who we truly are. It has made you a dog, unleashed by your cousin Kublai to rape and pillage at his command. Your nephew strays from the warrior's path. He will become what you hate. Unless you join my empire's fight for peace. You don't want allies. You want soldiers to overthrow the Shogun. Consider my offer. Help your nephew regain his honor before his cowardice goes too far. Before I bring you his head, I can't free my uncle until Tucker finishes what he's working on.
All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this fifth episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please don't forget to leave a like down below. And I will see you guys next time.